Thanks, YouTube. It's your girl Lauren. And guess what? It's Cheers to the mother freaking weekend. Um, just recently got back from my first campus tour for beauty school or cosmetology, better yet. And it was actually interesting and very informative. So I am looking forward to whatever beauty school I choose to starting and getting my future started. So yeah, I will definitely keep you posted on that. But today's video was actually inspired by one of my friends. <laughs> so, hi Mo. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to do this video because if you guys didn't know, <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh, I have what my friends call yellow fever. Pretty much, you know, I'm attracted to Asian girls. But the only issue is, Asian girls don't like me. They hate me. Like, they really fucking hate me. Well, I think they really fucking hate me. I've had such bad luck with Asians, it's ridiculous. So my question is, why do Asians hate me? Like, I'm cool enough for Asians to be in the friend zone and party with and kick it with and all that. But I'm not good enough for y'all to date. What's up with that, homie? But, um, pretty much, I'm just going to give you a run-through of, like, the bad, shitty luck that I have had with Asians. So, um, Asian number one. I, I'm not going to say any names, but if you're watching, you should know who you are. But Asian number one. You know, she was really cute. She was young, yes. But, you know, she was cute. She was, she was... Young, but she was very mature for her age. But And she was legal, so don't get it twisted. I don't do gel late. She was legal. Um, yeah, so we started talking, you know, like texting buddies, and then, you know, started getting a little serious, and yeah. Um, we made plans to see each other. Never happened. They would always, like, fall through for some weird reason. No, not weird, because Asians hate me. But, um, yeah, like, every time we made plans, they would always fall through. Eh, well, whatever. She worked, like, at a nail salon, so <laughs> I guess her time was taken up by her being at the nail salon, which is completely understandable. I don't knock your hustle. Do you, babe? So, yeah, she would tell me, oh, yeah, I want to be with you, da 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 I can't wait for us to, you know, start a future together, blah, 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 like, all that. Then, come to it, like, we actually, like, at the time, I didn't want a relationship at all, so I was just like, look, you know, whatever happens, happens, and we'll see where it goes. So, finally, I grew enough later balls to, you know, step up to the plate and be like, all right, if you were really serious about this whole relationship thing, let's go. Let's do it. This chick goes on to say, oh, I, I'm not, <clears throat> damn, excuse me, I'm not ready for a relationship. Um, da -da -da, whatever BS she, excuse she gave me, I don't know. But, like, dude, just two, three weeks ago, you were ready. What the hell happened, and why didn't you tell me, like, earlier on, like, ugh, girls are retarded. Like, they're so freaking <clears throat> retarded. So, yeah, agent number one. Yeah, um, she pretty much said she wasn't ready for Alicia when I was. So, eventually, we did stop talking. Um, have I heard from her since? I can't, I can't really say I have. Um, but, what's up? You know who you are. No hard feelings. You know, you can text me now. I'm, I'm over it. 
It's cool. We're cool. We're good. We're good. Um, agent number two. Um, downlink. Downlink is the fucking devil. Let me just tell you, if you have a downlink, delete it, please, because it's it's pointless. The girls are pointless. It's pointless. Period. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and need I mind you, all these girls I did meet from downlink. <laughs> So that should tell you something right there. Um, girl number two. Uh, started messaging, you know, uh, hey, what's up? What are you into? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So then we graduated to being texting buddies. I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text you. What are you doing? I'm doing nothing. Yeah. So texting buddies it was. Um, then. I don't know, like, she wanted me to come to one of her little events, and, you know, I was down for it, I was, I was cool, you know, we sent each other pictures of each other, you know, we both thought each other were fairly attractive, um, was there some flirting going on within those texts? I would like to think so, but, you know, see, with my, um, miscommunication with Asians, I... I could be totally fucking wrong. Um, but, yeah, I said I would come. Totally bailed. I didn't come. Um, yeah, I, di I didn't go. So, yeah, few more weeks go down the line. You know, we're, we're talking. I don't even know how this conversation came up because, like, it's not like I was trying to be in a relationship with her. I, yeah, I don't even know. We, like, we were just talking and then all of a sudden, I don't, know what was actually said for this conversation to come up, but she was just like, you know, you're not really my type. What's your type? She likes, I, I think she told me she likes snow bunnies, aka white girls. Um, so yeah, obviously, I'm not white. <laughs> I'm a redskin. Um, that's so offensive, don't, don't use that. Um, yeah, so... I was like, all right, cool, um, we weren't even talking like that, like, in my opinion, we weren't really talking like, talking like that, so I don't even know how the conversation came up, but pretty much, you know, we eventually stopped talking, and we just now started talking again, not like that, because she's taken, I'm taken, so, um, yeah, so it's all good in the hood, you know, no hard feelings, you're, you're still awesome, I still want to kick it with you, so, to be continued. Um, girl number three, now let me just say trick number, number three, no, one, two, three, chick, trick number three, she doesn't even deserve a chick title, she's a fucking thirsty trick. So this bitch, yeah, sorry, I don't really like to use the word bitch, but she's a bitch. Um, Met this bitch off of downlink once again. Downlink is the devil. Downlink is the devil. You know, messaging, oh yeah, you know, the basics. Trying to get to know each other before, you know, you give someone their number. Um, then finally gave her my number. Man. She was hot though. Like, you know, I love, if anything, I love Asian girls who have swag. Like, you can be the most chunkiest, Buddha-looking Asian, and if you have swag galore, I do not care. I love Asian girls who have swag. Like, you don't need to have a shitload of tattoos, even though I do like tattoos. But you don't even need all that. If you just got swag, real cool. But, you know, she had, like, tattoos, like the sleeve going on, you know a couple of piercings, she had like that little, that rugged hairstyle, I don't know, that the lesbians rock, I don't, I don't know. Pretty point blank period, she was a fucking number one. She was a fucking number ten. She was a ten. But yeah, we started talking, um, it was kind of funny because like when we first started talking, like she started talking about sex. Hmm. Not with me, but, like, sex in general. And I'm just like, hmm, okay, like, dude, why are we already talking about sex? No, not even we. Why are you already talking about sex? 
the fuck? Where did that come from? I don't even know your middle name. Still don't know your middle name, but whatever. That's here nor there. Um, yeah, so I just find it very weird that she's just automatically started talking about sex. I was like, alright, whatever, maybe she's horny, she hasn't got some in a few weeks, whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, we continue to talk, you know, she would disappear, you know, for a couple of days, and I'll, and I'll be like, what the hell's going on? Like, not like that, but I'll be like, yo, where you been? Like, what's up? And, you know, she was a teacher, too. So, yeah, so I could, I could understand that, but... She, I don't know, like one day I was on Downlink and she posts something on Downlink because we were like kind of sort of talking in a sense and she posts something on Downlink talking about like if a girl's vajay stinks or something like that, should you continue to mess with them? Well, obviously you're messing with someone else, which I can't really get mad at you for because you are technically single, so I can't really get mad at you for that, but damn, you could let me know if you're talking to someone else so you can be like, yo, you got some competition step the pussy up. I don't know. Whatever. But, um, yeah, so, I commented, I was just like, hmm, interesting. And I'll leave it at that. Then she texted me, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I feel like shit now. I'm, I'm totally embarrassed. Like, da 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 da. So I pretty much told her, yo, if you're talking to someone else, I'll like, no. I, this is what I said. I was just like, yo, like, from day number one, when we first started talking, I told you to keep it real with me. I don't care how hurtful it is. I don't give a fuck if you think you're being the biggest douchebag or bitch. Just keep it real with me. That is my number one thing. Uno mo uno. Or uno mo numo. Shut up. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. And just right there, I mean, like, you're, you're already fucking up. Like, already fucking up. So, I busted her shit about that. But I did, you know, give her another chance. So something else happened. I don't I don't know what else happened. Something else happened. Busted her ass again. I was like, all right, bitch, you got three strikes in your mouth. The third time, this is your last fucking time. So you need to prove to me that you really want to actually get to know me. She's like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. And my dumb ass actually believed her. But whatever. Um, so, um, yeah, we were texting, and then we we didn't text for, like, a while, so I'm just like, uh, okay. So I hit her up, you know, common text, what's up, where you been? Did you forget about me? Like, I don't, I don't know, like, just talking BS. And she just made some whack-ass excuse, oh, I'm sorry, I got really drunk, and da 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 bitch, were you drunk for three fucking days? Like... Hello? I mean, I know it's possible, but damn, when you sober up, you can at least be like, hey, I'm alive, something. I wiped my ass today, something. So, yeah, um, well, fuck, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so she gave me some BS excuses. So I'm just like, alright, look, yo, like, do you really want to get to know me? Because I honestly feel like we're not going anywhere. Like, we've been talking for, like, almost a month, and we know no shit about each other. Like, we don't know nada. Nothing. So I'm like, what's up? What's the deal? Like, you know, what's up with this? So she goes, she goes on to say, I was like, do you want get to get to know me or not? Because I told you how I felt. I told you where I want this to go. And yeah. And this is her response. Quote me. Um, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to get to know you. Pause. Hold on, let me look at my phone again and actually see if you actually said that right. Uh, my, uh, okay, yeah, you actually did say that. Alright, that's cool, but just two weeks prior, three weeks prior, you're talking about you didn't want to get to know me. You're talking about you want to take me out, you want to do this, you want to do that. Like, seriously? I'm starting to think Asians are fucking crazy. Like, they're, they're fucking nuts, like, on some real shit. Like, seriously. When it comes to talking to a fucking Asian, I'm starting to think that they don't know what the fuck they want. But that's that's pretty much girls in general. That's not just Asian girls. That's girls in general. But, um, yeah. So I'm just like, all right. I was like, okay, so why did you tell me that you wanted to get to know me? So I'm, like, going off in the text or whatever. Like, I'm going off. I'm going off, man, because she fucking just wasted my time. Like, shit, I could have been talking to someone else. So, yeah. Um, then I started to think back. Because she mentioned sex a lot when we were talking. Like, when I mean a lot, like... More than fucking, what's his name? Luke. The rapper Luke. More than his ass would talk about sex. Like, seriously. 
So, um, yeah, so I was just like, hold up. I put the two and two together. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, are you, are you not going to talk to me anymore because I'm not giving you my punani? And this bitch goes, yes. Hold the fuck up. Whoa, no. Stop. Wait, pause. Did you really, did you, for real? Like, I know there's some girls out there like that, but really? Like, seriously, yo? Like, you're fucking, what, at the time, I don't know how old you are now, but yeah, you were fucking like 22. Like, what? Like, ugh. I was done. Like, I went ham on her ass. Like, I went in on her fucking ass. Like, it was just because I was pissed because, first of all, you wasted my time, and now you're going to stop talking to me? The real reason why you're still talking? Because I'm not giving you no ass? Girl, please. So, I pretty much, you know, called her a thirsty ass trick, which she was, and yeah, after that, I was like, don't speak to me, don't talk to me, lose my number, lose my downlink, whatever. If you ever see me on the fucking street, don't speak. If I ever was on fire, do not even spit or piss on me. Just keep it the hell on moving. That's it. And I haven't heard from her since then. So obviously, it worked. And I guess she's getting asked somewhere else. I hope you don't have an STD. Like, I really don't. Like, I really hope you're protected, yo. Like, you, you, if you're that fucking promiscuous, you really need to be protected. I don't want to see your face on an STD ad or something like that. Like, yeah, but I'm being a bitch right now, so let me stop. Um, so yeah, my my experience with Asians are not a good fucking mix. Like, I have tons of Asian friends, but I don't know. It seems like when it comes to Asians, I'm in the fucking friend zone. Why? So my question to you, YouTube. If you're Asian, non-Asian, Cambodian, Japanese, Korean, whatever, if you're black, white, you let me know what you think the issue is. Why I have such shitty luck with Asians. Now, if you say it's my fucking skin color, I'm going to punch you right in your fucking throat. Because it's, it has to be more than skin. And I know it's not my personality because my personality is bomb, so, yeah. Um... So let me know, YouTube, why do Asians hate me so much? Asian girls, let's just say that, Asian girls, because my Asian boys, they're cool as fuck. But, yeah, Asian girls, why do they hate me? What's up with that? I can do anything to you. You know, I spread love.